We'll start in Mississippi, where a capital city is in crisis. Right now, hundreds of thousands of people. It's actually around 150,000 people. The entire population of Jackson, Mississippi, are without water. Floods shutting down the city's main water plant. The problem triggering a state of emergency and some big headaches, headaches to say the least. Tao Ta from News Nation affiliate WJTV in Jackson is live this morning for us with the very latest. So no flushing toilets, no showers, no potable drinking water. Or no drinking water. Yeah, that's unfortunately the situation here in Jackson, Adrian and Mitch. We've been following this developing story all night long, and this morning Jackson's water system is failing. The problem is disrupting families, businesses, and schools, and officials fear it could last for days. This morning, Mississippi's largest city is in crisis mode. The governor declaring a state of emergency in Jackson because of unreliable water service. Officials worried about the health and safety of thousands of residents. The city cannot provide, or volunteer firefighters cannot provide water to put out fires. They cannot flush their toilets. Uh, that takes it to uh, a different level, particularly in a city the size of Jackson. Right now, the Pearl River is overflowing at its banks, complicating water treatment at one of two facilities. The National Guard will help pass out bottled water while fire departments distribute what clean water they can. Very upset. Why? Because we already have water issues, you know. We can't drink it. We just grew a bathe. We got to boil water, and now we have no water. This is ridiculous. All public schools and at least two colleges are moving to remote learning until further notice. Investigators are still trying to determine if the city's main water treatment facility is even operating this morning as floodwaters begin to subside. I thank God for it. It didn't get in my house. But I feel like that this is it. It's going down. And I feel like in a couple of days it'll all be gone. The city knows water problems all too well. It's been under a boil notice since late July. And previous storms storms have impacted the water supply, leaving residents wondering if there's more problems to come. It's a temporary fix, and I know there's resources out there again, like I said, um, and stop band-aiding the situation and redo the infrastructure. Now, an incident command center will begin passing out water in the coming hours. Now, water shortages are expected to last for at least the next couple of days. State lawmakers are looking into a special session to help find a solution. Adrian? Uh, Tao, I have to ask you, you mentioned that the area had been under a boil water notice for a month. Why? Yeah, that's the case right now. We've just been having problems here at the Obi Curtis Water Treatment Plant. There's a number of factors, including short staffing here, but among that, that is really what is has been affecting the problems here in Jackson, and it's been an ongoing crisis for years now, actually, Adrian. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, hopefully this uh, situation right now helps address the problem more urgently. Thank you, Tao. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.